Hello, good morning everyone. This is Division 101. Welcome back to our channel, especially in this time that we have our online learning. So, welcome back. And this time we are going to solve another problems, another lesson. We will sol solve random puzzle in particular lesson. So, we will start. Are you ready now? So today we are going to solve the lesson in grade 5. So we are now here in uh, lesson number 10. This is the data. And then we will move on to lesson number 11. Unplug activity. And then we will solve random puzzle in lesson number 12. Uh, puzzle number one, number six, and number twelve. Okay, are you ready now? So let's start. Here in the data, we will click. This is lesson number ten. The title is Stimulating Experiment. So let's start. Go to progress. Click number one. Okay, are you ready now? So, this is the instruction. It says here that uh, collection data uh, run this stimulation five times. Each time, use the collecting data activity guide to record. Number one, how many apples did the elephant collect? And how many apples did the hippo collect? How many times did it take for all the apples to be collected so you will do it five times and you will record the apple number of apples collected by elephant and the hippo and the time they finish collecting uh, all the apples so let's try okay first click run so if you can see there are only two apples left so another one then another one apple here do you do you think hippo will get it or the elephant will get it okay let's see Okay, it takes time. Okay, so all the apples is collected already. And how many times? It says here that the simulation has ended after 39 seconds. Remember, 39 seconds, elephant collected 5, while hippo collected 15. Okay, so you will do it this one 5 times. And you compare your data. Okay, why, why hippo? Collected more. Why? Because hippo runs fast or move fast compared to the elephant. So you will do it five times. You try it. And after that, after you do it in five times, you will click finish and then it will move to number two. Now, in number two, okay, I will not do it five times. You will do it by your own. So, here now, in number 2, lesson 10, number 2, after you gather your data, okay, you analyze, and then after that, you see that hippo get more apple than elephant. Why? Because here, this is the, you can modi modify and you can predict. Why? Because elephant speed is only 2, while the... Hippo speed is 5. So if, if you want that elephant get more apple, what you're going to do is to increase the speed of uh, elephant. So for example, K 
Okay, I will do it one times, but you do the simulation in five times and you look for your findings. So for example, I will increase this one. I will increase to maybe eight. Okay, and let's try. So Elipat now is moving faster. You can see it. So, in 10 seconds, elephant collected 14, while hippo collected only 6. So, it matters most with the speed. And then, you do the simulation 5 times, and you compare your data. Okay? You understand? Okay. So, after you do it, that's the time you will move on to lesson number 11. Now, in lesson number 11, it's all about loops. You know what is loops, right? Loops is the repetitive action in coding. So if you have the same action, all you need to do is do a loop. Okay? So let's try. Number 11, it says for loop fun. So unplug activity, all you need to do is to watch the video. Okay, let's try to watch the video. Click play. So, this is the video, lesson 11. All you need to do is to sit and watch for lesson number 11. Got it? So, I will not finish the video. It's about 3 minutes. Okay, so after you watch the video, it will say here, move to lesson number 12. So, in lesson number 12, there are uh, 11 passes. So, go to, let's go to 12. So in 12 now, lesson 12, four loops, it says 12 is four loops with B. Okay? Are you with me? Okay, so let's start with uh, puzzle number one. We will do random puzzle. So teacher Debbie will solve puzzle one, puzzle number six, and puzzle number 12. And the rest, you will do it by your own. Okay? But if you have some problem, all you need to do is to just comment the comment section below okay so let's try okay let's start now click practice number one or puzzle number one okay here in puzzle number one instruction says that collect the nectar from its flower using the fewest blocks possible so here we have requirement of five blocks okay but it says here, if you can use a uh, fewest block, it's better. So let's start. So what we're going to do is to use the loop. That's the purpose of the loop. Repeat. Put it here. Repeat. How many times? You count. One, two, three, four, five. So that is five times. So click. Variable. Sorry. Variable. Math. Common loops. Okay. Variable. Where is that? Okay. Here. Put it here. How many how many times? Should be five times. Click five times. And here. Okay. What we're going to do is to move forward and get nectar. Action. So move forward and get nectar that's it so it's five blocks using our loops because if you use more blocks what happen is this one will be uh, fade green color uh, let's start run okay so we're done with lesson uh, puzzle number one okay let's move on to Puzzle number six. Okay, six is one. The rest, you will do it by yourself. Okay, let's go to puzzle number six. It says here in the instruction, you can also use a four loop to count down. Try again this nectar by counting down from five to one by one. Okay, so how can we do that? Okay. So, if you can see here, in puzzle number one, if you remember, 
this one is 1 liter, 1 liter, but this one is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we have only, uh, we need only 5 blocks to do it. So how can we do it? Let's try. So in our loop, we will use this one, okay? Because we have the counter. So we will use this one, okay, not this one, huh? This one for counter from 1 to 10, count by 1. So let's start. Put it here, and we will change. For counter 5, 5, right? You can see it's 5, 5, okay? 2, what is this? 1, right? So from counter 5 to counter 1, meaning to say from 5 to 1, count by 1, okay? So we're done with the first uh, code. For counter from 5 to 1, count 1. So it says here, 5 to 1. So next is, action is to move forward. Can you follow? So action is to move forward. And then we will do another loop. Okay. So here, we will do another loop. Repeat. What we are going to put here should be counter. Variables. Counter. Okay. So repeat. Counter times. What we are going to do is to get. Action is to get nectar. So it's nine blocks. Now we will repeat the code. First. Loop. This one is the loop, right? Loop. Counter. From five to ten. Okay. Count by one. From five to one. Sorry, it's not ten. It's one. Five to one. And then count one. Then move forward. Repeat counter times. And what we're going to do is to do and get nectar. So how many nectar is here? The B will not pass through if not finished yet. Okay, let's try. Okay, get it? So, that's it. How to solve puzzle number six. And then, we will move on to the puzzle number 12. Okay, the last puzzle. Okay, the rest, you will do it by yourself. So, in this time, it's quite difficult, right? Instruction says, if your loop is counting down, the increment is subtracted by your counter variable. It's time to, what should you, your increment be to be collect 15, then 12, 9, 6, 3, nectar. If you can see the increment, the change is 15, 12, 9, 6, and 3. And if you can see, it's going down. So how can we do it? Okay, let's try. So first, go to the loop. Add block. This counter, right? Here. Okay, are you with me? Okay, next, we have 15. From 15, you can see it's 15 right here. 15. And then 2. Okay, that's correct. It's 3. The last one is 3 here and then count by not by one now but by three correct because this one is count by three the increment is three right three six nine twelve fifteen increment is three now what we are going to do so action okay turn left now it should be turn left turn left why turn left because you are here you need to turn left and then move forward. Be Why you need to turn left? Because your a, your B is uh, facing here. So you need to turn left and then mo move uh, forward. Okay, move forward. Are you with me? Okay, you get it? Next. Turn right. Turn right and then move forward again. So here, you need to turn left, and then you move forward, and then turn right, and then move forward. So you are here now. So what we're going to do next? Next is repeat, loop again, repeat, 
okay what what should be here should be counter okay counter is in the variable click okay and you have your counter after that what what the b will do should get nectar action should get nectar okay can you follow so again counter from 15 to 3 15 to 3 the increment is 3 3 6 9 12 15 turn left so you are facing now here forward turn right facing here and then forward understand and counter get nectar let's try Okay, did you get it? So that is how to solve our puzzle, our practice puzzle in lesson 12, number 12. So it says here, congratulations, you complete completed four loops with B. Okay, so that is our coding for today. This is for grade 5 and IAL 6. The rest of the puzzle, you will do it by yourself. Okay, so for those who are not subscriber yet in our channel, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Just click subscribe and the bell so that you will be notified for the new uh, tutorial that Teacher Debbie will going to post in my channel. Okay, so see you again next time for our next coding tutorial. If you have some problem with the puzzle, all you need to do is to just write comment below and Teacher Debbie will do a tutorial specially for you. Okay? Have a nice day. See you. Bye-bye.